Hey y'all, um, I'm here to show y'all how do I make my dogs roll dog food. Say hey, papas. Hey. Uh, he's over here. Not only that, I'm about to make their food. So is Oreo. Okay, so let me get to it. So right here, I have some chicken hearts. A good organ uh, for them to eat. I like these a lot. Uh, my boxer pit really doesn't. Um, I have chicken gizzards. I have uh, eggshells that I boil that I save because these are really good sources of calcium. <laughs> um, and what I do is I blend them up and then I put it in their food. You'll see me do that. Um, turkey neck pieces, ground turkey, issue raised egg. I have hemp seed oil, cod liver oil, fish. Oil is really good for the dogs, especially if there's no sources of fish in the diet. Some iodine with kelp. And I have ginger. I usually just put like a teaspoon in each of their um, bowls. Khan is gonna have a huge difference in portion because he's way bigger than my boxer, Oreo. He is about 60, I believe. Um, but yeah, let's get started. All right, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to take the tur ground turkey and I'm just gonna put it in this bowl right here. And then I'm gonna add everything else to it. No con. Um, here are the chicken gizzards. You know, I'm gonna put a little bit. Um, you don't wanna put more organs than the uh, actual meat, so you're only gonna do about 10% of that. Um, here are my, what are these? The turkey, um, shit, I forgot. <laughs> what are these? Oh, yeah, whatever these are. Did I have said that they were? I think these are turkey necks, I don't know. Um, I'll probably cut this up in a little bit. Then I'm going to add an egg to it, so. I added three eggs to that, um, two eggs for con and then one for um, Oreo. And then I have my turkey neck in here. I'm gonna probably chop that up or I might give it to them just like that. Con's really good at eating the bones whole, but Oreo, he's kind of like, he's older and he's on the pickier side and he's just not used to those bones. So I'll probably um, cut that up for him. Um, next, I'm going to put in my kelp just do one squeeze of that um, my hemp seed oil my cod liver oil and um, my ginger so I'm gonna do about maybe two teaspoons of that and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and I'm gonna blend these and add them to this it's actually a really good source of calcium so let me go do that and I'll be right back. Okay y'all, and what else I forgot to mention is that I put red bell pepper, I'll put spinach, um, and a little bit of water along with the eggshell. Sometimes I put broccoli, sometimes I don't, you know, just sometimes it's good um, if they have a little bit of vegetables because in the wild, if they don't have meat, then they'll scrounge on that. So let's go ahead and... Okay, so here's the final product. Um, besides everything that I mentioned, I actually added some of my brown rice. Um, this is organic, short grain brown rice. I had this pre-cooked. Um, I like to give them a little bit of starches every now and then, you know, fill them up. Sometimes I put do sweet potato, regular potato, um, rice. I like to give them brown rice, so 
Um, here's the final product. They've been waiting for forever. They've been so good while I'm over here videoing. So um, let's see how they like it. Okay, yeah, let's go. All right, Sid. Sid. Sit, y'all. Sit, Oreo. Sit. Look, calm sitting. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. No, sit. Sit, con. Con, sit. Sit. All right, eat. when he eats the balls because he eats so fast but he takes his time they know I give him a little tiny piece. It looks like he likes it. See, like they, they absolutely love this. Yeah, so. Okay, y'all, that's it for this video. If you liked it, please subscribe and please give this video a thumbs up. I would highly appreciate it. It will help me out on making videos like this um, in the future. So thanks again and have a good day.